How you doing, guys? So we're in a uh, gas-fired furnace, in a nice little crawl space area. <clears throat> we changed out this blower motor, and uh, you know it was humming. It was freezing up when you'd put the electricity on, and when you take the electricity off, it would spin free. Okay, it's one of the signs that the that the uh, motor's bad on the inside. So uh, when we changed the motor, we realized that. <laughs> You see that? See how it's up? Yeah, check it out. See that wheel? It's all bent. I could have fried the uh, the bearings in the motor to start with, so we're gonna uh, take this out again. Take the new motor out, take the blow wheel out, put the new blow wheel in. Okay. And then go on our way. So I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna take this out right now, and then uh, I'll show you when we put the new one back in. All right. So all these wires here are for the blower motor. Okay. You have the black, which is high speed. Blue is medium high, and so forth. So uh, we took them off the board. White is the neutral. Two browns is for the capacitor right there. That's all we really need to do to take this, uh, you know, um, to take this whole blower out because we're gonna take the screws out over here, slide this whole thing to the side, and then uh, do the little switch. I'll get you some more picks. Okay, so we pull the module off to the side. We just gotta take, we gotta take these two screws off. There was one on the base. All right, this is everything from the capacitor to the uh, speeds of the, uh, of the motor and the power. We slide that right off, unscrewed everything over here and here. I want to slide that, that assembly right out just like that, okay? Okay, so got this, got this blower wheel stuck in here. So all we gotta do is take this, Don't think you have to take this whole thing apart, beads and all. Just this little section right here. Just remember how it all goes back together. There we go. Now this will come right out. See how that was a little bit bent and all? You know, bent, it looked like it was okay. Maybe it was supposed to be like that, but the new one. See a nice, nice clean, clean bottom, so. And then you got a direction, see right there. That means that these cups have gotta go this way. All right, you see how. See how they're cupped? All right, so they're, they're cupped like that. So it's gonna spin in this direction here. All right, just like that. It's gotta go to the right, so those cups have to be, be able to catch them. Catch them and push the air. Right, let me put this back together. And I'll show you a couple more shots. So we're putting back the motor. I wanted to show you, I remember one of the first times I put a, uh, a blow motor back and the uh, bolts really weren't lining up too too well. You always can switch these, okay, which we had to on this particular uh, setup. But also when, you, when you're getting it in, you, know, you might have to move it, see? See how the whole thing kind of moves? You might have to move it in into, the, into where the hole is right there and then hunker it down, okay? So I remember the first time I was like, oh man, it's not the right bracket, this and that. Don't worry about it. Just uh, make it work, okay? Make sure it's not hitting the sides. You'll line up the, uh, the blower motor. Make sure it's right in the middle so that uh, it's not hitting anything, okay? All right, but I just wanted to make sure, just show you that sometimes you have to move this around 
as well as the, the, whole, the whole bracket, just to kind of line it up the way it's supposed to be, all right? Let me tell you, using the right tools for the job makes your job much easier. You'll pull, yourself, you'll pull your hair out trying to, uh, trying to get some of these screws back in. So this will be one I'm gonna use. I used it here. And then the other one is under here. Okay, I already put it in, but you need that right angle, uh, you know, uh, bit for your gun. And this one here, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you how to get to that one. So using this one here, I'd never get in with anything else other than something like this here. So this is the tool right there. All right, the flexible neck. Beautiful. So when your wife says, why are you buying this stuff at Home Depot? Why are you spending so much money on your tools? Let them know that it makes your job and your life much easier. And you can go from one job to the other. Str I don't want to say stress-free because this job has some stress once in a while. But uh, you know what? The tools will definitely help. So go out and get one of these. It's awesome. And when you uh, take the blower out, you got to take out the one of the high limits. Okay? So make sure... You put it back. It's a huge safety concern. This one just kind of clips right in there. So let's back this up a little bit. Just try to get this in place. second i'll try to uh i can't do it with just all right so it's back in place i had to hold it in place and slide it right through clicks right in all right so now it looks pretty a zip tied all up so the wires aren't all over the place you know i really don't think anything's gonna happen if you don't do that but it just looks sloppy next person comes in they're gonna think your work looks like garbage they can even show it to the customer see see how sloppy this is i'll show you when it's done and uh presence is everything what people perceive is true is true all right, so we got the black going back on for cooling for the blower. Got the blue, which is medium for uh, for heat. And we got the yellow and the red on park, which is basically just like a standby. The white down here, okay, you see that? That's where the all the neutrals are. New capacitor. All right, now let's, let's get in here. Oh, and this is one of the, I say it all the time, but this is one of the best lights you can get. Rechargeable. See that right there? Rechargeable. It's got... Two different, uh, two to, it's got a high, a medium. High stays on good for two and a half hours. Medium is good for six and a half hours. And the little uh, guy on top, the little probe, that's good for 12 hours. All right, so at the beginning, I showed you how it was all twisted and everything. See, that's nice. It's free and it's, and it's straight, most important thing. Nice and straight. We didn't want to screw up the uh, blow motor. The bearing's in there with it wobbling all over the place. So this should be nice and quiet. They were hearing the woo 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 woo, -woo from, the, uh, from the ductwork moving around, just from a little bit of an off balance. So um, I'm gonna start this bitch up. I'm gonna start this up <laughs> and uh, go from there. There goes our inducer motor. Which we changed that out last year. That's nice. Next is gonna be uh, a glow rod inside there. So we got like a 15 or 20 second purge. Get all I mean, if any gases, get them all up and out. You hear that click? Chevy Red. Next clip is going to be the gas valve.
was a delay. You can set the delays on that dip switch right here. You want no delay. Thanks guys, if you like it, subscribe, I'll keep on throwing videos out there.